Okay, hi, it's me, Pearl, again. It's Saturday, so it's my turn to upload, and since it was my whole idea to do the whole introduction, not really introduction, the um, what we think about the other people in our group thing, well, now I'm doing it, and we're doing it this week for Peggy. As you could see from Bear's video back on Wednesday, um, or Thursday, or whenever what day what was it? It was mm, an A didn't do hers because because she's in Germany, Germany. Why Germany? I don't understand. So. It's my turn, and first off, let's see, three words that describe our beautiful Peggy. Well, she's derpy, she, she's adorable, she's a unicorn, she's pretty, she's nice, she's too nice, she's this, that's not three anymore. She loves sparkles, like shiny things, she likes blues and purple. Can I start? <laughs> She's derpy because she has the most adorable faces whenever whenever I take pictures of her. She'll have a, she'll have a normal face. She'll have a normal face in the camera. I hit the button and then the the resulting picture is just like it's very attractive. I have millions of them. Millions. Personality She's the meanest one. She's the meanest one of us all. She's super, super nice. And as Bear said earlier, she's a little too nice. Um, way too nice. She puts up a she puts up with us a lot. Um, she really shouldn't have to. Um, I wish I could put up with her a lot, but I don't have to, and I wish that would change. But when she's being mean, we don't hate her or anything about it because like it's. It's Peggy. It's Peggy. Because she's so nice. That she can be mean whenever she wants to be. Uh, more on our personality, I guess. I mean, there's not much I can say that Bear hasn't said already. She's nice, but she's- I've said nice so many times this video. She's- <laughs> she's nice, but she's too nice. That's like the one bad thing about her. She's too nice! She also has to learn how to say no. Peggy, you need to learn how to say no, especially to us. I mean, you say no to us, but like, sometimes you don't, and like, be more selfish. It's a good thing for you. You should be more selfish. Oh, this is what I really like about you, Peggy. You're really funny. She always is able to make me laugh, no matter what. Like, like, just all the funny just tum like comes out of her mouth, like, like, like vomit, except funnier. But um, I don't know why she's just like really like sarcastic. And that's what it is, I guess. She's not really mean. She's really sarcastic. She just comes up with the most on, like, the snarkiest things, like, on the spot. And it's, like, great. And it's funny. And it's hilarious. And, like, no matter what she does, it's just funny. Unlike, unlike A. I'll call her almonds today because empty tin of almond. Well, it's backwards now, but, like, empty tin of almonds. And it's empty. And I need to go get more. Um... An almond is. I love her. I love almond. She's she's so nice. She she she's not funny at all. She tries to be funny, and then she kills the funny. She kills the funny so hard. Usually Peggy can bring the funny back, but. I love you, A. The first time I met her, she's the only one that I have a solid memory of meeting. Kind of. I was a freshman and she was a junior because there's two years apart between the two of us, between me and most of the group. It's two years between me and Peggy, two years between me and Bear, one year between me and A, me and Almond. 
almond, almond, almond. We're both in math class together. I was in geometry and she was in geometry and I was doing we freshmen in my geometry class. Um, and like, I don't even know what I did for the first like week and a half. I think I just like sat by myself because I had no friends in that class because like they were all big scary older people. And I went to anime club a couple of times that week and then I realized one time um, after lunch I think because um, one of our friends, the anime club pres president had um, been talking with her to lunch because they sat together at lunch and stuff, um, had been talking with her and I recognized them and then I put two and two together and the tall lovely blonde girl from anime club was the same person as the tall blonde girl in my math class yeah it took me a while to figure it out I'm, su I'm surprised it didn't take me longer because these things usually take me a really long time it also helped that she was wearing this like carnation pink sweater thing I love that pink sweater it's so it's so Peggy so I just walk up to her one day and go like hi are you an anime club? Are, are you an anime club? She's like, yeah. Blah, blah. I was like, hi. I'm, I'm an anime club too. I'm in your class. At least I think that's how it went. Maybe I was a little more creepy than that. But either way, awkwardness aside, um, I started sitting together with her in class. We sat next to each other for the entire year. Became really pretty good friends. Um, I finally had a lunch table to sit with. I sat at Peggy's lunch table. I think I think that's how I met A maybe maybe but A's always kind of been like in the background but that's that's in like that's an A's video like two weeks from now yeah we sat next to each other in math and she was she was actually the first one I met if I hadn't met Peggy first I wouldn't have gotten as close with Bear or A so thank you, Peggy, and thank you, high school schedule that let me be put in Peggy's math class. It was so nice. What we ended up doing was, like, we had a system going around. I would sleep in class. I would just sleep in class all day. Peggy would take my notes for me, and then I would take those notes, and I would do the homework, and Peggy never did her homework, and she always copied her, po uh, her homework off of me, and we both got A's that year in math, probably for the last time in my life. <laughs> One nice memory with her. There was this one time that I spent, there, it was just like, I spent this whole day with Peggy. It was before Katsu and it was, maybe it was during winter break, but I spent an evening at her house. Not even, in, not even an evening, we spent the entire day together. Um, I don't know really what we did, but like at the end of it, we just like spent a lot of time just goofing around and talking. We recorded ourselves reading badly written M-rated fanfiction and um, making a bunch of fix through a um, this ad-lib fic generator thingy. It was a really nice night. We talked a lot about a bunch of stuff, um, stuff that I can't really remember right now, but I feel like I got closer with her that night. I have a different relationship with her than I do with Bear. She's the, she's like the girl I can, like, I can always go to her for like a big hug. Like I can just like spend hours in her lap and I can like, I feel like I can talk, tell her about everything. I mean, I can tell Bear anything too, but like, you know, it's like just a different feel. She's like, she's like my daddy and my mommy. I mean, Bear's my mommy and um, Peggy's my daddy, but like at some point, Peggy became like my mommy as well. I think that was during the fa fairy photo shoot. She's like my daddy and mommy, and I'm like her baby. I have a, I have a very, very special relationship with, with Peggy, and it's very, very lovely, I feel. Um, I absolutely adore, adore her, adore, 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 and I am so so glad I met you. These things are like good for like boosting your self esteem. Like every anytime, anytime you feel like you're down or something, you can just sit down and watch these videos of how much we love you. 
I feel like it's really good for that. Um, let me wrap it up with one more memory. It's 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 like a really. Re you remember when we all went when all of us? Uh, I think it was just yeah. It was just me, Bear, and Peggy. We went to Clyde's at like eleven o'clock at night. Was this July fourth? I think this was July fourth, and that was kind of a fail of a night. Actually, no, it might not have been July 4th. But we went to Clyde's and got ice cream really, really late. And it was raining, but we all just sat in the trunk with the with the trunk door up. And at some point, Bear got ice cream on my nose. And then, and then Peggy licked it off. And we just had a fun night. It was very nice. I think that was one of my more favorite nights. We should do that again. Just, like, go out, eat ice cream, fool around in the trunk. That totally came out wrong. <laughs> that totally came out wrong. I love you, Peggy. A lot. And next week, next week, we're gonna do bear. Next week, we're gonna do bear, and I will have a lot of fun with that. Be prepared, bear. Be prepared. So, Peggy, make sure you start out with um, how much you love bear and how you met her and things like that. And A... A. I don't care if you're in Germany right now. You are gonna put your videos up. Okay. Watching you. I love you guys. I'm sorry you had to sit through all that. I love you. Bye.